Hello friends, welcome to my channel. In today's session, we are going to perform CRUD operations in ASP.NET Core Razor Pages. This is the final output of this session. Here we have added one nav item to create the books and to see the books available in the database. Click on this books. Here we can see all the items are loaded from the database and displayed here. If you want to create any new book, you can click on this button to create a new book. Let me click on the create new book button. Here we can provide the title, description and author details to submit the data. Without providing any details, I am trying to save this data. Let me submit. So these validations are implemented here. If I add book title here, let me add. So now this error has been removed. So here we have implemented client side and server side validations. And let me add the book description. So this validation error message has been removed when we enter the description. So our client side validations are working perfectly. And let me choose author also. Now we filled all three columns. Let me submit the data. The data has been saved into the database and here we are using sweet alert to display the messages. Let me click on OK. So now the newly added book has been shown in the book list. Let me edit this data. Click on edit. Here I can change here. Let me update. Let me update this data. The book details are updated and the updated data has been binded to the book list. Also here we can delete the data. Let me click on this delete. Here we have disabled all the controls here. Since user is trying to delete this data, we no need to enable these text box controls. That's why we enable the read only property here so that it will not allow user to modify the content if user want to go back to the list you can click on this back to list button where it will be redirected to book list let me go back to the delete again this time i'm going to delete the data the data has been deleted and updated the book list here also here we have added bootstrap icons here in the ui you can see plus and the edit delete so we added bootstrap icons here for this to perform all these crowd operations we have used visual studio 2022 and the dotnet framework 9 has been used in this session also for the database we used microsoft sql server in my case i'm installing local db here so i'm using the local sql server 